Have you ever gazed up at the sky after a rain and marveled at the vibrant arc of colours that paint the heavens? That's a rainbow, a natural work of art. But have you ever wondered how this colourful spectacle comes to life? Let's break it down. Rainbows are not just a beautiful spectacle. They are the result of a fascinating and complex scientific process. It all begins with the interaction between sunlight and water droplets. So, let's start with sunlight. Sunlight may seem like a single white light, but it's actually composed of various colours. Each colour has a different wavelength, and when combined, they form what we perceive as white light. When this light hits an object, several things can happen. One of the things that can happen is refraction or the bending of light. This occurs when light travels from one medium to another, like from air into a water droplet. In the process, the light slows down and changes direction. As the light enters the water droplet, it splits into its constituent colours. This is because each colour travels at a different speed and therefore bends at a different angle. This process is known as dispersion. Now, the dispersed light travels inside the water droplet and hits the inner surface. Some of it escapes out, but some of it reflects back into the droplet. This reflection further intensifies the separation of colours. When the light leaves the droplet, it refracts or bends again. Now, the light has been refracted, reflected and refracted once more. This double refraction and reflection process is what causes the light to spread out and form a circular arc of colours. The result is what we see as a rainbow. The colours of a rainbow always appear in a specific order from top to bottom. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. This order is determined by the wavelength of each colour, with red having the longest wavelength and violet the shortest. But can everyone see a rainbow? The answer is not always. To see a rainbow, you must be standing with your back to the sun and the rain in front of you. Also, the sun must be shining. Without these conditions, a rainbow cannot form. Moreover, even if the conditions are perfect, a rainbow is not a physical entity. It cannot be touched or approached. It is an optical phenomenon that appears when sunlight and raindrops combine in a particular way. In essence, a rainbow is a beautiful example of physics in action. It demonstrates how light can be split into its constituent colours, how these colours reflect and refract within water droplets, and how our eyes perceive this array of colours. So the next time you see a rainbow, take a moment to appreciate not just its beauty, but also the fascinating science behind it. After all, understanding the science behind natural phenomena only adds to their wonder. Remember, a rainbow is more than just a charming end to a rainy day. It's a testament to the intricate and wonderful laws of nature. So, keep looking up and let the wonder of rainbows remind you of the beauty of science. Where's the most unexpected or breathtaking place you've ever spotted a rainbow? Share your memorable rainbow stories in the comments below.